be careful who you take advice from and even go to for advice. Just got off the phone a couple hours ago to one of my man them. You know who you are, fam. He's phone man up. Now, I thought he was going to be talking about something to do with electrics, but no. He phoned me up. He wants to talk to me about property and that. I'm like, okay, cool. Asking man questions about this and, you know, buying a house on auction, that kind of thing. Yeah, he wants to slightly renovate a house or whatever. Yeah. Want to buy a house that's a little bit rough, fix it up and that. And he's asking me certain questions and I'm saying, bro, like he was asking me, like, you know, do you think I should do it? I said, bro, just go for it, innit? Yeah, like, you know. Oh, yeah, you know other people that I spoke to, when I've told them about what I want to do, they're telling me it's bare red tape this and oh, it's going to be difficult that. And I said to him, bro, as soon as I get off the phone, yeah, I'm going to make a video about this. this. This is how I get my JY's video ideas, you know. Just general things that happen in life. All the fucking time. And I said this to him. Anytime someone's got a fucking idea. The people around them. The first thing that they will fucking tell them. Is about everything that can go fucking wrong with that idea. And it pisses me off. It's stupid. You don't know how frustrating it is to... It's not even happening to me. Like, obviously, it's happened to me in the past. People told me my ideas are shit and that. That's cool, isn't it, yeah? But just to even hear it, hearing a man wanting to branch out and do something good with himself. And then the people that are around him, fucking small-minded, telling him how much and how wrong this thing can go. Instead of saying, yo, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but try it, fam. Anyone watching this right now, you got any idea, yeah? I'm not saying don't ask people for advice. But as soon as they start telling you about red tape, this and it's going to go wrong, that. Put those people in the loser category box. Yeah, because that's where they fucking belong. They got a loser's mentality. I don't care how much money they earn. I don't give a fuck if they're a doctor. They've got a loser's mentality because they don't want to step out of their comfort zone. Small minded people. Don't matter how much money they earn, what profession they got, how, how many, what PhD they got, what letters they got before their name, after their name. They got a loser's mentality. They got a worker's mentality. They're afraid. They're not leaders. They're followers. They're not courageous. They don't believe in taking risks. The only risk they know about taking is a calculated risk. That's not a risk. We're all surrounded by these people. Negative people. Tell it, man, about all the things that can go wrong with an idea. I know, I know people. They're in a field. Yeah, let me turn around for this. They're in a particular field. They involve themselves in a certain money-making scheme, right? Not nothing illegal, legal stuff, right? I, man, go and ask them for advice on, you know, what they're doing and, yeah? Or you know that insurance is going to cost you this amount of money and, you know, you won't make that much money and it takes long to sell this and that. But you're doing it yourself. What the fuck are you talking about, fam? What, what are you talking about, bro? You're doing it yourself. How can you give me advice and tell me not to get involved when you're doing it yourself? What the fuck are you talking about? There's man out here. They're electrician. Telling people, oh, don't, don't become electrician. Electrician job is shit. Don't become electrician. But these men have been doing it for 30 years. Yeah, let me just outline one thing right now. 
I'm an electrician. I will always be an electrician. I can't forget my trade. Yeah. If a man asks me, right, about becoming an electrician, if that's what he really wants to do, go and do it. I will tell a man, if you want to do that, you do it. I can't tell you, you not to become an electrician because you might become the millionaire electrician. But me personally, I don't like it, man. It's not for me. I don't even work as an electrician anyway. I work as an electrical tester. But if a man approached me and asked me about being an electrician, I said, listen, if you want to do it, you can do it. Yeah. Me personally, I don't like it. Yeah? I just do it just to get money. But my ambitions are elsewhere. But that's the difference between me and them. I might do something that I don't like, but I'm thinking of, you know, what's the next plan? These people, they're, they're stuck in a dead-end job. They complain about it. But then they don't think about doing anything else. That's how a loser thinks. A winner thinks, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to do this yeah, for now, but I'm thinking, yeah, what's the next thing? A loser just... Well, I got this shit job, I got this mortgage to pay for, I got this fucking wife that's that fucking yeah, tyrant, I'm just gonna settle for it. That's a loser mentality. You are the complete opposite of a winner. Always an excuse as well. Had Gad come step up in the yard before. Telling me about this new job opportunity that's come up. Paying her double in what she's currently earning. Cool. W w when you started, you know what? I declined the job, you know. Why? God told me I wasn't ready. It weren't my time. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not God telling you that it's not your time, that you're not ready. You're a pussy, yo. you're scared. You're scared to step out of your comfort zone. You was afraid. You saw, you saw that you, you're earning 35 grand a year right now. And you could be potentially paid 70 grand a year if you got this new job. They offered you the job, you got the job, yeah? It's exactly the same job, bro. But because you're getting paid double the money, you saw £70,000 and you thought to yourself, that's out of my league. My calibre is too low to earn that type of money. And these are the people that want to surround themselves around me? Man, move, man. Keep, keep it moving. Huh? I don't want to know anyone who thinks like that. I don't want to know anyone who thinks like that. And this is why... Unfortunately, black people are in the hole that they're in. Because you've got parents and you've got friends and family around them who tell them, because you're black, you're going to have it harder than the next man. You're going to have to work twice as hard for half the results. As I always say, bullshit. That's a loser's mentality. And the man that phoned me up, which obviously inspired me to make this video. I know all these people them around him are black that he phoned. Cause he's like me, grew up in a black area. Yeah, you see me. Yeah. As I always say, man, I'm from a black area. But I think when I was a little kid, yeah, I used to run with little white boys on my estate or whatever, innit? But when I got yeah, I don't have no white friends. I ain't got nothing against white people. I just I didn't grow up around white people like that. Yeah, just it is what it is, isn't it? All the people them around my my person that, that phoned me. I know they're black who are telling him, oh, you know, this problem, you're going to have this problem and it's difficult, it's hard. Yeah, it is supposed to be hard. Success is not for the faint-hearted because you would have plenty of idiots who are successful and living the life that they want. Good, it's supposed to be difficult. I don't want no one who, who ain't about nothing, who ain't got substance to be successful because you're not really worth it. Don't be a loser, man. Don't listen to loser advice. I said to the man on the phone, you see them people that are telling you that you shouldn't do it because they ain't doing it themselves. And the people that are doing it, 
that tell you all these problems, they'll boss you. They don't want you to be in the position that they're in. There's a lot of people out here, you know. They're successful, but they don't want the other people around them to be as successful as them. So they want to be up here and they want to look down on the people there. As man said before in many videos, yeah, you don't know who your real friends are until you pass them. Yeah? Until, boom, you and, you and them grow up in Edmonton, let's say. And then you move out, you buy your own property. Yeah? And they're still living at their mum's yard. You're earning a hundred grand a year and them man are still earning, you know, 30 grand a year in a box room on the first floor of their mum's house. Yeah, and you start driving a Mercedes and them man are just in a fucking Ford Focus. That's when you'll find out who your friends are. You ain't gonna really know who your friends are when you're at the same level as them. It's only when, it's only when you pass them. That's when you'll find out what your friends should be thinking when you pass them, let's say, they should be thinking, you know what? Maybe man can. Because, you know, certain people, they, yeah, their mind, you know, they've given up, basically, innit? Certain people ain't even fucking tried, but certain people just give up from day one or whatever, innit? You know what? Man can make something of myself, you know? Man can do more than what's, yeah, around me, what the people them around me is doing. No, you know what they do? But fuck that. My man thinks he's better than everyone. Nah, fuck. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna have that. Anyway. Stay wise.